Hey guys, Nova Explosion. Welcome back to more Star Ocean, the second story R. Reyna level 14. Let's load it up. We tried. Oh, hello. Oh, they just always do this as we load the game. That's neat. Yeah, we have to go to Kurik. I got it. I got it. Kurik is north of Cross City. I came here because I thought we can get Ashton, but thus was not the case. We cannot get Ashton yet. I think we have to move on to story. It is after. We'll go to Kurik, catch a ship. You know what? Give me a fight so I can, like, remember how to play the game. <laughs> I don't remember what... Never mind, I didn't get an encounter link. I was gonna say, I do not remember what green enemies do. Hey, freaking die? What's my crush button? It is R1? Yeah, get wrecked, loser. Anyway, I was trying to get Ashton, but we cannot get Ashton now. I'm actually curious if the game will let me go to Mars and do the Mars stuff without the game, like, telling me to go to Mars, if that makes sense. Because the game's like, oh, I'll go to Kurik, but I'm pretty sure the way it works is if you try going to Kurik, something comes up and it's like, hey, you, uh, have to do this first. But I'm trying to remember. Oh, three-way encounter link, let's do it. I'm trying to remember what would happen if I just go to Mars right now, though. So we're gonna try that because Mars is right here, near Harley. Don't I have Meteor Palm? I do have Meteor Palm. Should use that every now and then. Yo, I am ready. Air Slash, get wrecked. I have to look at the lock on button. I could have sworn there was a button to lock on in this game, in this remake. As opposed to the OG. Or second evolution for that matter. Yo, two times XP is pretty poggers, not gonna lie. Ow, do you mind? All right, gotta remember how to use the counter system. <laughs> it is a lot to get used to. Reyna, what, what are you doing? What are you doing, Reyna? <laughs> what a terrible start. I am holding my own better than you. I really don't want to use my only resurrection mission. Come here. Easy. All right, Claude, you are soloing this fight now. This is your battle now. <laughs> the Pangalactic Federation sword is too broken. Oh, we got 1600 because this game has like the, um... What's it called? This game has like the level scaling of like, hey, the less characters you have, the more XP you get. So that's why Claude just got a ton there. Where's Mars at? gotta be coming up. I see the green dot. Oh, this is probably Mars. Maybe. Never mind. That's not a village, Nova. That is not a village. I do not remember what green enemies are, to be real with you. Do you know what it is? I'm so used to our- uh, I have ran into the green enemy. Oh, it's these guys. oh wait, I just remembered Rain is alive. We're fine. I do not know what you guys give me if you're green. Maybe just more items or something? They told me, I just forgot. What was I gonna say? I'm so used to the original game, so it's gonna mess with my perspective on like, oh, where places are. Because in the original, like, the map is, like, not this open, open world. Not open world. Not this open-ended. So it's, like, it's weird. It's a bit getting used to playing this remake and being like, oh, yeah, things are farther because they have more treasures and more incentive to explore the world map. Hey, where are we supposed to be going to Kurik? Okay, yeah, they're gonna... Isn't Kurik much further north? Yeah, they're gonna make me go to Kurik. Wait, no, is that a meme? Yeah, they're gonna make me go to Kurik. Hi. My dad's taking me to the Forest of Symbols tomorrow. Well, on the bright side, chat, I did the unlock the fast travel here, so this wasn't a complete waste. Ooh, discovery point. You know what? I actually want to hold off on this, maybe. Well, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I want to wait until we get um Ashton for that. That would be cool. If I waited to get Ashton. There was a private action in Mars. Timed one. And there's also one in Harley. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that investigation point. 
What are you up to? Oh, Reyna. Nothing, just looking at the sky. Again? You were doing that over in Salva, too. Sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's cloudy. It's always something different, and that's why I never get tired of it. What kind of sky do you like most, Reyna? Huh? Me? There's lots of different kinds, you know. A night sky filled with stars or a breathtaking sunset. Isn't there any that you like in particular? Well... You know, I do like when the sky turns red at sunset. That is really a sight to behold. That being said, a dark sky full of twinkling stars is also nice. I'm gonna go with this one because this reminds me of the pizza in the sky from Final Fantasy VII. I like sunsets when the sky's all red like it's on fire. Like a canvas with red paint splashed all over it. You almost feel like you can smell the scent of roses as it unfolds in front of you. You're quite the romantic, aren't you, Reyna? Huh? You think so? When I'm watching a sunset, I feel like I've got my fingers right on the pulse of the planet I live on. It really makes me feel like the planet we're standing on right now is a living thing. Wow, really? But lately, I've started to feel the warmth of the blood flowing through us, too. I don't know. Maybe I've been out in space for too long. I'm starting to realize that I've fallen out of touch with something really important. What? Oh, sorry. I'm just rambling. Out in space? Space? I've never heard of such a place. Alright, well, I guess we should go back to Harley? Yeah. Actually, I mean, if this one's not timed, we can sit on it for a bit. We don't have to do it right now. Let's just head to Kurik, because I, I know for a fact we don't do... We might do some stuff in Kurik. Okay, the fact that... I, I thought this was neat, but the fact that literally every single time it goes to like, hey, we're going here, it, it's gonna get a little annoying. It's nice when you load up the game to be like, hey, this is where you have to go, but like, if it's gonna do that like every single time, then that's gonna get a little tedious. But, um, what was I gonna say? I know for a fact that we don't leave the on the boat to Kurik or from Kurik. Because there's still more to do here, so something's gonna happen in Kurik and be like, yeah, we gotta go back. So we should at least go to Kurik and we'll have the fast travel point. Though that being said, if I can look for treasure or fish, that would be pretty pog as well. Oh, this game is so beautiful. We'll do a few battles. I don't want to do too many, though. I'm going to wait until we make more progress and get Ashkin, mostly. That's specifically why I skipped the investigation point. It'd be a lot more useful to us if we had an extra character for it. Just getting more XP towards Ashton. Die. I'm trying to think, who's our next... This is the thing about not getting Celine, or, I mean, ideally, like, if you get Ashton, you can't get Opera and Ernest, and Celine's like a free character. But this is the thing about not getting Celine, like, we, our party comp is a little bit flawed. We're not gonna get much characters in, like, the super early game. We're gonna get a lot of characters, like, around each other. Like, I'm pretty sure Welch and Pressis are gonna be around the same point. Noel and Chisato are, like, practically towards the end of the game. What else? Who else am I getting? Diaz? Diaz is relatively late into disc one. We can do this. Oops, look out. <sighs> so like after Ashton, I think our next party member is either well, Welch or Pressis. But even then it's still a ways away. 
still quite a ways away. But again, if I chose Selene, I would have had to either A, sacrifice a character I didn't get in my original playthrough, or B, I would have had to sacrifice Chisato. And I like Chisato, she's one of my favorites, so I want Chisato. And I'm not going to back out of my word to be like, oh, I'm not going to get like Noel or Welch. I promised I'd get all the characters I didn't, and I'm going to I'm gonna stick to that. Two Star Ocean playthroughs, I want to have all the possible characters on the channel. That is how I want to do this playthrough. This is mine now. Eggs and dairy. We need that for like a cooking mission or something, right? Whoops. Oh, these are done. Uh, you know what? Hold off on that. I want to report them. Actually, only full in SP. Why not? If it was XP, I would have waited. Accepted. Yeah, let's try cooking. Eggs and dairy. Pretty sure this was a cooking mission. No, I already got yogurt. Okay, never mind. We already got the yogurt. There's three green enemies. I don't want to mess with that now. I'm good. Oh, look at this view. Look at this view. My word. The people who remade this game... Like, they they did such an amazing job. Oh my word. I'm so, like, I'm so glad we got this remake. I really want more classics to get HD2D. HD2D is something I love. It's gorgeous. And again, people, people like, assume I played HD2D stuff. I haven't played Octopath Traveler or I haven't played Live Alive. So I, I haven't played any HD2D stuff. Maybe one day. I do want to play, um, at least Live Alive one day. Because I know it's on PlayStation now. It was on Switch for a while. Now it's on PlayStation. Maybe Octopath as well. But I just have such a big backlog. But, um, despite having never played those games, something that has, like, something that would make me want to play them is their art style. Okay, how am I getting the Kurik? I see it, but, like... Hmm, I see. I see. I see. I also can't wait to get Bunny Call. When we get Bunny Call, it'll be a lot easier to traverse. Ernest is regarded is often regarded as one of the worst party members. Ernest is the worst party member, like guaranteed. And the thing about Ernest is you can't get him unless you have Opera. Like it's either Opera and Ernest or you could get Opera alone. You don't have to get Ernest if you get Opera, but like, you know. Getting Ernest, it doesn't work two ways. You have to have Opera. But then you could have Opera and not Ernest if you wanted to like get other characters. Luckily, I did get Ernest in my in my second evolution playthrough. The only overlapping character we're gonna have is Celine. Everyone else is gonna be new. In this playthrough. Selena is... Oh, not Sel Did I say Selene? Not Selena. Uh, Chisato. Chisato is going to be the only character that overlaps. Which, hey, I mean, if the one character that overlaps is, like, one of my favorites, then I'm down. That sounds good to me. Plus, it works out. Because in Claude's story, I got Selene and Leon. They were my mages. In this playthrough, Noel and... There's one more. I have one more mage. I know it. Or I'm gonna have one more mage, or I thought I was going to have one more mage. Maybe not, though. Oh, never mind. I'm only gonna have, like, a Reyna, I guess. Reyna's a healer, though. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. I thought I was gonna have, like, another mage that wasn't a healer, but nah. That's fine. I mean, magic is actually, like, Probably good in this remake, to be honest. In the original, you didn't really want too many mages because it froze the gameplay. But in this remake, mages might be, like, decent. Maybe not, maybe good, Who for, for all I know. I have to play more of the game to really solidify that. Like, Selene and Leon, their usefulness probably, like, increases a lot. 
Hey, the Black Lotus. Wait, let me do one more and see if I can get a um a new fish. Ba, 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 ba. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting a party member? Presses Diaz Welch. Ashton. Chisato and Noel. No, I'm not. Okay. So our only mages are gonna be uh Noel and Reyna. Noel is kinda like a um a secondary healer. He's not as good as Reyna. He's kinda like a red mage, if you will. A red mage from Final Fantasy. Very similar. Like, has healing moves. Doesn't really excel at healing or magic. He's literally like a red mage. Decent at both offensive and defensive spells. Or curative spells specifically. While Reyna is mostly like 80% healer and 20% hitting moves. Dude, this one map is gorgeous. I can look at it all day. The music is also top notch. Matoi Sakuraba deserves a raise. People say Matoi Sakuraba's stuff is hit or miss. Like, sure, not all of his soundtracks are like top tier, but like he he does great work. I love his I love his work in Tales of and Star Ocean and Valkyrie Profile. I can't remember Valkyrie Elysium's soundtrack because that game sucked, but I'm sure he did okay in that game because his music is really nice. This Kurik? This might be Kurik. This is not Kurik. This is something different. This is a dungeon. There sure are a lot of hills and valleys along this coast. I think we come here later for something? Maybe? Or maybe this is part of Opera's side quest? Or Opera's side quest actually might start on the next continent. Excuse me, pardon me. Alright, you know what? I'll do a fight. I've been roaming the map for too long. People are watching this and being like, please fight something. Also, the enemies are new, so yeah, fighting's a good idea. Get broken, you dumb idiot. Air slash, air slash. Let's go. Can the battles last longer than like 30 seconds so I can hear more of the battle theme? By the way, I will say, Matoi Sakuraba, amazing work. Why is Stab the Sword of Justice? I have started uploading this playthrough. Why is it copywritten in most of my videos? Sometimes the Mountain Palace. Let me go here in case I need to fast travel. Ooh. Yo, this music is pretty bu bumping. I think we come here for Ashton's side quest, probably. Yeah, because opera start stu stop. Opera stuff doesn't start until what's it called? Until the Liqueur continent. Here goes. We can handle this. Whoops, that's not what I meant to use. That but it doesn't matter; it's already dead. <laughs> but yeah, why is the normal battle theme copyrighted? I I have to ask. Like, I do not understand it. I think it's like inconsistent too, like two of my videos got copyrighted because of that battle music, others didn't. So that really sucks. It's not like I'm really making much money off YouTube anyway, but still. It's strange to me. How many- how am I getting cross carps all the way near Kirk? How does that work? Oh, I miss it. Whoops. I wasn't even looking at the prompt. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Castle Gate card. Alright. Excuse me. Making my way to Kurik. There's a chest right there that I will gladly... Loot. Safety shoes. 
Sure, why not? It's 20, uh, 20 avoid and 5 defense. It's a pretty good buff. I'll take it. Also? Maybe we'll do that when we get Ashton. 